Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the creature that lives under your bed. My uncle, aka the Booger Man. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at Treble. He wasn't really like a super highly requested character, however, um, he was out on a banner not too long ago. And I figured I just want to show you how uh, disgusting not only does he look, but uh, how good this character can possibly be. Um, he does have quite a few um, counters nowadays, I would say, because his biggest weakness is not only a box of tissues, uh, preferably like the two ply, you know, the thick, creamy, uh, what do they call them? The creamy, you know, those creamy tissues that feel nice when you wipe your nose and they don't leave like rashes or whatever. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, but. Not only is tissue his weak, Jesus Christ, that cloud is chasing us. Um, but the other weakness of this guy would be um, multi-hit uh, characters. Someone like, I don't know, the new Zoro, for example, can absolutely just slaughter this filthy pedophile. Um, but, luckily there's not any Zoros on the field right now. We actually have that OG Kaido, which is pretty badass to see. Uh, Franosuke actually might be able to put in some work against me. Um, hit him with that skill too, actually, that, uh, whoever that was, Nami. Skill 2 there, you could shoot a bunch of fucking mucus piles, which is really nice, because um, not only does it slow your uh, target, but uh, as you can see there, the multi-hit right there actually bypassed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Treble has like an automatic 60% chance to dodge when his HP is above 50%. Uh, which is pretty damn nice. Like, I feel like that should have been Katakuri's ability in this game when he, uh, upon release, but I guess back then there wasn't really broken characters to deal with them. Look at that shit. We just basically mucused the fucking Candyman to death. Um, I wonder if we could turn my boogers into candy. You know, nowadays, or even back in the day, they used to have, like, fucking bugs uh, encapsulated in, like, lollipop candy or whatever you call that shit, hard candy. I um, wonder if you can encapsulate a booger and just give it to one of those disgusting kids who like to pick their nose and eat it. Um, anyways, we're going to go back up here and try to defend the flag. There's just people going all over the place there. There's a little bit of meat right there, but nobody likes mucusy meat. So, uh, psych, I'm going to go eat that mucusy meat or turn it into mucusy meat, which is um, actually doubles as great lubrication. You ever hawk a loogie on your fucking one-eyed yogurt thrower and just go to town? That's... Uh, it's a pro tip so anyways speaking of pro tips um, shoot your uh, wad at fucking uh, what's his name King when he's on the flag skill to to do devastating damage uh, it'll also probably knock him off the flag because he's got that like hit him three times and shame on me hit him four times shame on you um, trait so uh, we're gonna sit here in that middle flag. I just perfect dodged out of nowhere and just fucking absolutely busted my wad like I was talking about. Look at him, he's so shocked that I just completely, uh, you know, blew my load all over him. But, um, you know, sometimes you just gotta blow your nose on a, on a bystander, especially during uh, these times. It's kind of, it could be devastating with the, the germs and whatnot floating around, so. Uh, again, just spewing my mucus all over the place. I'm just having a, grand old time right now with uh, the booger man um, probably uh, you know these are, are are easy characters to go up against with him to be honest um, maybe in the next match we'll see some more of his uh, follies so now we're gonna uh, just kind of go to the next I think we got uh, what three four KOs this time around yeah man you get the fucking shotgun booger snot it's a devastating ability uh, especially when you have like the CP9 set. I, I really like that on this guy because you can get that skill back real fast if you just keep on critting because it hits so many damn times. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll just be, you know, playing our role again. There's some actual uh, units on the other team that could probably lay the boots to us, so uh, we'll see what happens when we encounter them up close and personal. They might want to wear their mask because they don't want to spread that virus, so got that fucking this guy is the epitome of the fucking coronavirus he is the lockdown the reason for the lockdown so uh, we got our booger wand in our hand too i don't know if you noticed that it's pretty pretty badass it's probably solid gold booger wand um we're just gonna charge up these flags head up there and just kind of you know sneeze all over the field 
uh, you know, typical treble, treble behavior. Treble, treble, treble behavior. It's a tongue twister. Uh, right here, we're gonna shoot the, the water. Look at that, it goes quite far too, and when people step in the mucus, they kind of just like get super slowed down. That Blackbeard skill actually, if that hit, would have probably just demolished us, but luckily our 60% chance of dodge to uh, kicked in there, so. Um, we got Dofi holding it down with his little uh, web. Oh, you know, we tired as a motherfucker, as usual. Look at that, just a big old, just a mess right there. Imagine just walking in somebody's snot. I would probably lose 20% of my walking abilities uh, or walking speed in real life if I did too. I'd be that disgusted. So it seems like our skill too is like coming back actually. Uh, we're just gonna hop in here and just give him the hands instead, because why not? Psych, we're gonna give him with that achoo. Um, right on his face, right in his beard too. You ever try to get boogers out of your beard? It's not easy, once they get crusty especially, so. It'd be cool if he had like a crustification ability, if that was his awakening. Hit you with that booger and then it gets all crusty. Um, it would be like a kindergarten class fucking wildest uh, dream. Because you know those kids and their boogers. So, we're going to go to the back here. I thought I saw somebody sneaking behind. Yeah, it was uh, this god Usopp, which is... He actually bypassed. He got lucky there with that uh, snipe. Somehow I healed. I don't, he probably has a healing trait that I overlooked or something when he gets, oh, I think when my allies get KO'd, he heals like 30% or something. Good on Marco for coming by and just healing, healing me with that, uh, his bird wings. That was pretty nice of him. We're just gonna, um, pretty much torture this Usopp. Again, he hit me with that, even though we had the, the uh, 60% activator, which is pretty, this Usopp's quite lucky. Um, kind of fits for his character, but unfortunately we, he just, suffocated in a mucus pile right there so just gonna sit here with our booger wand looking nice and glistening uh, charge up this flag just in case not really much to worry about at this point there's only 20 seconds remaining um, luckily we didn't see any Zoros or um, I guess Cavendish would also be a, uh, a difficult guy to fight with that multi hit Big Mom's also a little bit difficult just gonna shoot our load right there just uh, safety precaution throw out the booger chain um, also they got fucking motherfucker Jones out now, Hody Jones. Uh, I got him in like 50 gems, but I don't have him at level 80, so maybe I'll do a challenge battle gameplay of him or something if you guys want that. Anyways, this is my support. It's pretty nice. Oh, uh, yeah, not much left to see. You can see my guy here. I put a lot of HP just because I wanted to keep that HP high. Um, but yeah, this is it. Not really much more to say. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next boogery video. Peace. <sighs>